Hi, this is Tim Santoni and welcome to my channel. On this channel, we'll talk about uh, creative ways to cr produce videos and I'm going to share with you some tips, tricks, technology. Today we're going to talk about the five things you need to get started on YouTube. Roll the intro. Today I want to talk about the five things that will make your life easier as you get launched on YouTube. First off is a camera. And I went through a lot. I purchased a DSLR, I tried different webcams, but we carry around this thing in our pocket called a phone. Camera on here are HD quality, time lapse capabilities. There's a great app called Filmic Pro you can use to lock in some advanced settings. The second thing you're gonna need is some sort of editing software. I recommend getting started with something free like iMovie or Windows Movie Maker. Um, both come natively on a Windows or a Mac, depending on what you're on. If you're looking to uh, take it up a notch, there is something called ScreenFlow for a Mac, which is about $100. It's a download and it's a great tool for screen capture as well as editing. It has a lot of functionality to do title effects and a great starting platform as a paid version. As you uh, improve, you can upgrade to obviously Adobe or Final Cut, but getting started, iMovie or Windows Movie Maker will do the trick. The third thing I recommend is a tripod. So if you're using an iPhone, you can get something like this on Amazon. It's about 10 bucks. Adjust to your iPhone, gives you some stable footage, awesome. Joby has a great line of tripods. I love this one for my Canon G7X. Has a level on it and it's amazing. Um, it, as you improve, you might wanna look at a Joby Gorilla Pod, something like this to hold a DSLR. This thing can mount, stand, and do just about anything. It's a great tool to get stable video and to record yourself when you're out and about. So third thing I recommend is a tripod. So now you've shot the videos stably with your tripod, you've edited them with iMovie or Windows Movie Maker. Now you're gonna to need to create a thumbnail. A thumbnail is a key piece of your overall YouTube strategy. And in order to do that, there's a really cool free software tool out there called Canva. In essence, it's Photoshop for free, it has more limited functionality, but you can do overlays, text, transparent images, um, and render out for all the different sizes you need. They're all built in, so whether it's a YouTube thumbnail, YouTube background, or it's uh, something for your social media as you look to promote your channel, Canva uh, is amazing, and the links that are for Canva will be down below. The fifth and final thing I recommend for people getting started on YouTube is something called vidIQ. This is a plugin uh, in Chrome, uh, your Chrome browser. Uh, go to vidIQ and download and install that extension, and what it allows you to do is do a lot of keyword research, tag your videos, and track what's going on with regard to ranking, search, and other key things as you measure and grow your channel. Uh, it's a free tool. There is a paid version to get some advanced technology, but as you do research on your keywords and you want to load up those videos, it's a great tool. It also helps you with making sure that your tags are done properly, your end cards, your annotations, um, and all the things that you need to optimize your videos for search on YouTube and on the search engine. So check out vidIQ, links down below. Thanks so much for tuning in to this uh, first real new episode on my channel. I look forward to connecting with you in the comments, and if you have any questions or you like a video uh, on something of interest regarding YouTube, please leave it in the comments and I look forward to seeing you soon.